I'd like to talk a little bit more about the magic of nine and one of my favorite topics because it's got to do with introducing mathematics at an early stage to young students is our multiplication table. So um, this is called the digital reduction of the times table or the multiplication table. And in this lesson, we're just going to look at the pairs of four and five. But first of all, we need to look at the whole multiplication table as a, as a unit. So we know one times table goes one to nine, but two times table, as you know, goes two, four, six, eight. But when we get to 10, when we get to 10, we take away nine. So you're left with a remainder of one. And then when you get to 12, take away nine, you're left a remainder of three. So you get two, four, six, eight, one, three, five, seven, nine. Another way of doing digital reduction or digital compression or digital roots, let's look at the three times table. We'll go three, six, nine, 12. So when we get to 12, we just add the digits. So one and two for 12 is three. The next one after 12 is 15. One and five is six. And when we get to nine, um, 18, one and eight is nine. So shortcut is just add the digits. So it's one of the 16 Vedic sutras called digit sums, where just add in the digits. But you notice the repetition, two, three, six, nine, three, six, nine, three, six, nine. But with the two times table, it went two, four, six, eight. And you notice that the next four digits, we went from even numbers to the odd numbers, one, three, five, seven. Okay. And you, straight away, you can see that when you look at all the times table, all the nines are on, on this column and this bottom row here because nine is indestructible. Nine, nine multiplied by any number, like nine times. Let's do six times nine. Six times nine is 54. But in 54, I, I've added the digits. Five and four is nine. So we know, know that nine is what underpins all creation. It's that magic number. I've written whole books about the magic of nine. But... What I wanted to show you here is this. We looked at the um, Enneagram before where we looked at the, the four times table and it went four, eight, three, seven, two, six, one, five, nine. And those nine numbers, if you went um, to four twelves, um, four times four nines are 36. So the next number 40 and 44, that 40 and 44 would repeat over here. So these nine numbers repeat forever. So this is a, a periodicity. It has nine repeating digits. But what we noticed about the four times table is that if you looked at the next one, the five times table, you go five, 10 becomes a one, 15 becomes a six. So the five times table is the reverse of the four times tables going that way. And the five times table here, five, one, six, two, is the reverse of this one. It's five, one, six, two. So it works out that um, if you look at, the four and the five together as two rows. Can you see how they all add up to nine? Three and six is nine, seven and two is nine. So there's all this hidden symmetry on the number nine. So what it's kind of saying is that um, our mathematical tables is like a matrix and it, it has this invisible symmetry where there's one field going one way, like the four times table, and the five times table is going the other way. And we call that counter rotating fields. And we see that in, in pine cones, like there's eight spirals going one way and 13 going the other. So this um, grid, this matrix, the word ma matrix means the womb in Latin. So this is the mother of creation. Our times table represents growth. And when we say growth, if you were to think of what's two, four, six, eight, it keeps increasing two, four, six, eight, ten. It's it's some symbolic, something it's symbolic of what we call natural biological growth. People say, what's the multiplication? Why should I learn my tables? Because amongst the chaos or the randomness that you see, we want to put on our x-ray goggles and understand that the creator of this universe has given us a universal language of shape and pattern recognition.